What's up guys, Ricky Carruth here from ZeroToDiamond.com, the first completely free real estate coaching program. Coming to you with my second real estate agent hack. Today I wanna to talk about voicemails. I get a lot of questions about voicemails. Ricky, what voicemail do you leave? Do you even leave voicemails? So let me tell you real quick what I think about voicemails and how I utilize voicemail. I always leave a message. And I don't think of it as I'm trying to get that prospect to call me back. I think of it as a branding tool. I use my voicemail as a branding tool. I want them to hear my name, my company, my phone number, okay? And I want them to hear it, and then it's gonna, it's gonna become branded in their mind over all the other marketing I do. They're gonna hear me on the voicemail, they're gonna see my signs around town, they may get a postcard, a letter, an email, a Facebook ad, Instagram, okay? So all that combined is gonna help you build your brand. So I'm thinking of voicemail as a branding tool. There's a couple different ways you can go about leaving a voicemail. You can say, hey, this is Ricky Carruth at 3 Makes of Orange Beach, give me a call back when you get a chance, my phone number, or you can be specific about the property. Hey, this is Ricky Carruth at 3 Makes of Orange Beach, I was calling you about this subdivision, give me a call back when you get a chance, here's my phone number, and you can get as creative as you want with it, but just keep in mind, um, just for the sake of just being efficient and not worrying so much and just putting that work in and enjoying the process, think of voicemails as a branding tool and always leave one. So that's my real estate hack for today. Let me know if there's anything else I can do for you guys. Talk to you soon.